Hi, everyone. I'm Lloyd, founder and president of American College Cricket. I'm here with Steve Steinberg. And once again, we're going to look at the last weekend's performances of our players, former American College Cricket players in the minor league season. Hi, Steve. Hey, Lloyd. What's going on? Well, eager to hear um, about the, our performances. So go ahead. You want to start? Yeah. It was the final week of the minor league cricket season, and it was pretty wild because you had a lot of teams still jockeying for playoff positions. Um, in the East, it was another good week for the New Jersey Stallions and Raymond Ramerton. The Stallions went 2-0 and for the weekend to lock up first place in the East, and Ramerton grabbed four wickets over the two games, including a three-wicket haul against the Cavaliers on Sunday. Ray, actually, in American College cricket, had 26 wickets in 11 innings, so he's been doing his thing for some time. And in mm. fact, in March 2020, in that interrupted uh, championship, he took a he had a six wicket haul. Mm -hmm. Wow! Um, in the South, Murali Ankaraju, who is used only sparingly by the Raptors, picked up a wicket in Morrisville's final game of the season on Sunday. Um, they're heading into the playoffs, so hopefully he'll get some more uh, get some more time playing. Yeah, he's a pretty good batsman, actually. He made um, a century in the, in the short time he played in American college cricket. Uh, for University of Memphis. Things were super tight in the Central. Um, the Michigan Cricket Stars came in having to win two games against the Dallas Mustangs. And Ryan, Ryan Scott was once again doing Ryan Scott things. On Saturday, he slammed 70 from only 30 balls in a crucial W over the leaders in the Central. Um, unfortunately, Sunday wouldn't go so well. He was drilled in the hand by Bert Cockley in the third over and had to leave the game. He returned in the 12th over, but could only put up about 12, 21 runs before being set down in uh, basically a season-ending loss to the Mustangs. Ah, uh, okay. Well, Bert actually used to be pretty fast. So, yeah, getting hit by Bert Cockley was probably not um, a very pleasant experience. Yeah, no, he looked like he was in some serious pain. Um, I just talked to Bert for an article I'm doing, and, um, yeah, he, he's, uh, he has some heat. Um also in the Central, in a couple of games that didn't really have any playoff ramifications, Nickel Conson put up a strong 46 from 39 to help the St. Louis Americans beat the Lone Star Athletics on Saturday. And on Sunday, his 40 from 24 helped the Americans complete the sweep of the Athletics. Yeah, Nickel played for the University of Michigan in American College Cricket and puts up some pretty consistent scores at the last Nationals that he played in in 2020. Mm. The biggest news out of the West was the Seattle Thunderbolts. They not only had to sweep the Golden State Grizzlies, but they had to do it so convincingly that they'd win a net run rate tiebreaker with the East Bay Blazers, and they managed to pull it off. And one of the big reasons they did it was Fani Simhadri, who took four wickets over four wickets over the weekend, including two huge ones in the 17th over on Saturday. Uh, Fani, yeah, doing tremendously. I understand he's at the very top of the bowling for the minor league season. So that's a tremendous accomplishment by him. And it actually allows me to say that um, in Saurabh Nechavalkar, American College Cricket has the top USA bowler. And in Fani Symmetry, we have the top minor league cricket bowler. So that makes me pretty um, pleased, pretty happy. Fani mm -hmm. actually um, bowled pretty well in American College Cricket as well. And uh, he did get a five wicket haul. I think that was back in 2016. And um, so it's great. To, but funny enough, and I read this great article by Smith Patel in Crick Buzz mm -hmm. about Fani. And it talks about the fact that he'd given up hardball cricket at age 14. And it was when he <laughs> came from India to American College Cricket to do his master's at the University of South Florida. That's where he actually started back playing hardball. And he credits uh, mm -hmm. American College Cricket for you know the experience that he had and getting him started back in hardball. So good going, Fani. We look forward to you in the playoffs. No, that's a great story. So a bunch of guys from American College Cricket are heading to the playoffs. Um, from the Stallions, you got Aaron Patel, Karan Patel, Raymond Ramertan. From the Manhattan New Yorkers, who finished second in the East, Kevin Shaw, Raj Bobser, Raj Patel. Um, Morrisville finished second in the, in the South, Murali Ankaraju. Dallas, who took uh, first place in the in the south in the central with Sujit Gowda, big big battle all season long. Um, and see in the west, you have again Seattle Simhadri, Fani Simhadri from Seattle, and when he gets back from Scotland, uh, Sarb Netravalkar. Yep, 
So Jitgada, um, he actually made um, 50 something or 60 something not out in that victory that uh, Dallas Mustangs had. That was pretty good. I watched a bit of that. So, so of course, played for University of Texas, Dallas. And right. um, a lot of NJIT guys in there, especially in the Northeast, New Jersey Stallions and Manhattan mm -hmm. uh, Yorkers. Uh, so that's not surprising to me because NJIT for a few years up to 2020 had what I would say is the best team in American college cricket that was yet to win a national championship. They did make the finals in 2019, losing to West Virginia University, and they were heading to the finals. They had made the semis before um, the lockdown happened. So no surprise that a lot of the NJIT guys are featuring a bunch of talented players over the few years, especially leading up to 2020. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the playoffs and watching our guys in action, Steve. No, it should be a fun, should be a fun couple of weeks coming up, Lloyd. Great. So thank you for coming on once again. And everybody, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again next week. All right. Thanks a lot. See you later, Lloyd. Bye.